Hello, my kinder friends. Mr. Vutzek here. Now we're at kinder lesson review number 29. Let's start with a greeting. You sing after me. Hello, how are you today? Warm up your head voice. Remember, up high, go, ooh, that's your head voice. Can you do that, that pitch? Match it. All right, match this pitch now. Big breath and go. All right, you do this one now by yourself. Ready? Okay, got that pitch? All right. Just warm up your voice a couple times. All right, let's do our new song called Quaker, Quaker, How Is Thee? And you could be my echo. I'll do four beats, be my echo. Quaker, Quaker, how is thee? Very well, I thank thee. How's thy neighbor next to thee? I don't know, I'll go and see. All right, I have a new song for you called April. April brings primroses, sweet flowers. Scatters daisies at our feet. I'll sing the song. Boom, 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 it goes like this. April brings primroses sweet, scatters daisies at our feet. So I was doing it, I was keeping the beat. And maybe you heard those silent beats. Where are they? I'll do it again. April brings primroses sweet, scatters daisies at our feet. How many? Two, you're right. I'll show them where they're at. April brings primroses sweet, scatters daisies at our feet. How about you be my echo? Mm -hmm. April brings primroses sweet. Scatters daisies at our feet. All right, my next song is also new. It's called, Oh, My Aunt Came Back. My aunt is a lady. She's my mother's sister, or she could be my father's sister, right? An aunt. And she travels the world, and every time she comes back, she brings me something that I have to use right away, all right? So the first one, she goes to Timbuktu, and she brings me a wooden shoe. It's an echo song, so whatever I sing, sing after me. Mm, here I go. Oh, my aunt came back from Timbuktu. She brought with her a wooden shoe. Now, your foot, you have to keep the beat. Now, let's pretend this is my foot, all right? Okay, this is my toes, this is the floor. So I'm gonna keep the beat with my heel, all right? And keep this going. Keep that going with your foot. I'm doing that. Next part. She went to old Japan and she brought me a waving flag, fan. Oh, my aunt came back from old Japan. She brought with her a waving fan. Now, you have two things going on. Your foot and your fan. Now she goes to old Algiers, also in Africa, and she brings me a pair of shears. I'll have to use the other fan for that. Oh, my aunt came back from old Algiers. She brought with her a pair of shears. Three things going on, your foot, the fan, and the shears, which means scissors, a pair of shears, another way of saying scissors. Okay, now she goes to Guadalupe. I think it's in Mexico, and she brings a hula hoop. Okay, get your foot going, and your fan, and your shears. Oh, my aunt came back from Guadalupe. She brought with her a hula hoop. You have to move your hips like you got a hula hoop going. Okay, next place she goes to 
the county fair and she brings a rocking chair. Okay, get your foot going. Fan, shears, hula hoop. Oh, my aunt came back from the county fair. She brought with her a rocking chair. Wow, we're getting crazy here now. Okay, last place she goes is to the city zoo and she brought me a nut like you. All right, here we go. Foot, fan, shears, hula hoop, rocking chair. Oh, my aunt came back from the city zoo. She brought with her a nut like you. All right, that's our song. Now, let's review some older songs like Busy Buzzy Bee. Remember how that goes? Does this song have any sound beats? Let's see, here it goes. Here we go. Busy, buzzy, busy bee, buzzing round from tree to tree. Busy, buzzy, busy bee, don't you dare to buzz near me. None. All right, let's look at the rhythm for the first four beats. Remember, the rhythm is the way the words go. Busy, buzzy, busy bee. So we're listening to, do the words go long on the beat or do they go short, short? All right, you tell me. How about the first one? Busy, what's that? You're right. Second beat, busy, buzzy. What's that? Buzzy, short, short. Busy, buzzy, busy. Hey, we already had that one. Short, short. Last beat, busy, buzzy, busy bee. Long. So the rhythm goes, busy, buzzy, busy bee. If I said it was short and long, it'd be short, 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 long. So now you're listening for those. Hey, another song, All the Little Ducklings. Let's do that one. Ready, go. All the little ducklings swim without a care. Heads are underwater, tails are in the air. You remember the movements, right? All right. Does this song have any silent beats? Let's see, let's keep the beat. Here I go, all the little ducklings swim without a care. Heads are underwater, tails are in the air. It has two of them, right. All right, let's talk about pitch. Remember, pitch means how high or low the sound is. But the first thing you do is you tell me if the pitch I'm playing, is it the same pitch or is it two different pitches? Okay, here is my first pitch. I'm not gonna show you what it is, but here's my first pitch. And it goes like this, first pitch. And my second pitch goes like this. First question, same or different? And you should be going like this. They were different. Here's my first pitch. And my second pitch was different pitch. Now my next question is about pitch. Which one was the higher pitch? Number one or number two? Here's number one. And here's number two. Which one was higher? Number one was higher. Okay, that's when I'm talking about pitch. Even though number two was lower, I could play it louder, right? It doesn't make it any higher than this one, right? So this is the high pitch, and this is the low pitch. If I'm talking about soft and loud, in music they call that dynamics. A fancy word, okay? Just so you know, dynamics. I could play this high sound softly, or I can play it loudly. It's still this higher sound of these two. This is still this low sound. Now, in mu musicians, they have a word for soft. They call it piano, just like the instrument. Piano means soft. And loud means forte. All right, let me play the low sound, piano, soft. Now I'm going to play it forte. Okay, now I'm going to ask you, which one did I play forte? Number one or number two? Here it goes. Here's number one. And here's number two. Which one was louder? You're right, number two. 
All right, my friends, that's it for today. See you next time. Goodbye.